Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of this perfume right here. This is French Grey from Elizabeth and James Nirvana. So I've done some other unboxings from perfumes from this collection. I did the rose one, amethyst, and bourbon, and honestly, I think all of them are fantastic. Um, they're also very affordable right now. You can find them on discount web shops or at your local Winners or Marshalls. I think I picked this one up for around $20 Canadian. So I really love cheapy perfumes that smell good. Um, it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to smell fantastic. So I'm very much looking forward to this one for sure. Um, the notes listed in this one are Musk, Neroli and Lavender. Uh, this is a 30 ml bottle. I've been enjoying Lavender perfumes a lot lately. I just find them to be in general quite calming and therapeutic. Just something that you can wear to wind down at the end of a long day. And so let's see what this one's all about. I haven't seen any reviews on this before. So get this open here. Okay, so the bottle here probably looks like the rest of them. Yes, it does. Okay, so I actually thought that the bottle would be like a light gray, like the color of the box here. But it's more like a darker kind of gray here. Almost like a, yeah, it is the darker gray. But I do really like the bottle designs of the perfumes from this collection. Now let's give this one a very first sniff. Hmm. Okay. It's supposed to click. Oh, okay, it's already in. All right, so first and foremost for me, I smell musk. Musk and lavender for sure are the most prominent notes here in the opening. It's very clean. It's making me think of fresh, freshly laundered sheets, fresh linens, bed sheets, straight from the dryer. Or also you can think of bed sheets that are hanging and then you get that nice cool breezy crisp freshness okay so now i'm smelling more of the neroli in here i really enjoy neroli as a note this to me is making me think of something that someone would wear just straight out of the shower if you want to smell clean, crisp, fresh. I'm getting some soapiness in here as well. And I don't mean that um, in a bad way. <laughs> Sometimes when I think of very soapy scents, I automatically think that's a negative thing. But in here, it's not. It's just, it's making me think of laundry. <laughs> I love the scent of clean laundry, especially just right out of the dry out of the dryer sorry hmm yes musky lavender that isn't overly herbal it's very soft it's make me think of fluffy pillows and yeah it's very crisp and clean and this is something i think men and women can both wear if you just want a nice, simple, clean scent, like a, yeah, like as I said, something for out of the shower, a musky, citrusy, lavender. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I thought I would like it, and I do. 
So obviously I do have to test this on skin to see how it dries down, but my first impressions are that this is an easy to wear, easy going, a versatile scent for anyone who likes to smell fresh and clean. And yeah, I can definitely see myself wearing this and even just like using it as a bed spray as well because I do like spraying lavender or smelling that lavender uh, for bedtime and uh, this would be perfect for that so so yeah yay <laughs> I do like this one a lot French Grey uh, from Elizabeth and James Nirvana another fantastic one it smells more expensive than the $20 that I spent for sure lovely lovely perfume so yeah that concludes my series of unboxing perfumes from the Elizabeth and James Nirvana collection. Hopefully I can get my hands on the Nirvana black and white one day. Um, they're a bit harder to find, but I think I should pick those up because I've loved <laughs> so far. I do enjoy the perfumes that I already have and I'm probably gonna like the white and black as well. I've heard good things. So that was my quick video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.